As the holidays are past approaching, President Rodrigo Robredo addresses the nation about the safety guidelines that they must follow during the celebrations to avoid the spread of the coronavirus and the injuries brought by the firecrackers. A pleasant morning to all the Filipino people. First of all, I would like to greet you a Merry Christmas and a Bountiful New Year. It is not a secret to anyone that we will still face the nasty pandemic that the world seeks to conquer. But that will never hinder the happiness and sacredness of the Christmas and New Year celebration to each and everyone. So the least things that we can do to push through with our yearly diet, such is to practice our health and safety protocols to avoid COVID-19 transmission. One must practice social distancing at all times. Wear face masks and face shields. The maximum number of people in a mass gathering should only be 10. And when it comes to firecrackers, I am assuming an executive orders to ban all shirts and reduce the numbers of injuries during New Year. Again, happy holiday everyone. After the speech, Vern's called Rochelle through Messenger and they talk about the president's address. Yo, Shell, have you heard about president address? I find the restriction very weird. How can you limit mass gatherings up to 10 people? We have a big, big family right. that only gets I together share during Christmas. The same sentiments with you. And about the firecracker ban. New Year will be so boring. Wow, I've heard you're talking about the president's address earlier. For me, even if it is hard, we need to follow those rules to avoid any misfortunes during our celebration. Even if it will be a bit different now, we need to endure because this is for our good. Oh, hey, dear Irish. Thank you for enlightening us, Irish. No one will be craving for a COVID full celebration, right? <laughs> and the three friends started laughing. After the call, Rochelle had a moment of realization. This year has been hard. I hope that 2021 will be good and fruitful. The speech context that we're using this roleplay are the following. Interpersonal. A. Public communication. As the president addressed the Filipino people, he showed the example of public communication as he prepared his speech and delivered it virtually. The citizens had no opportunity to provide feedback. Letter B. Diet communication. As Vern and Rochelle teach up through video call, they exhibited the example of diet communication that involves two persons conversing with each other. Letter C, small group communication. As Irish joined Vern's and Rochelle's conversation, they formed a small group for communication. Intrapersonal, the moment that Rochelle reflected within herself, this was the best example of intrapersonal speech context.